I think that why people should not show their face in, in Africa, they should not go. And in fact, what we did in the Congo, we trained the enterprise facilitator, they got him to come to us. And the reason why we did not go is because we were invited uh, by the uh, Methodist Church. The African bishop of the Methodist Church in Kamina, in, the, in Katanga, asked the American contributors to the church, uh, they were giving money to his mission, and they still give money to the mission. And what happened was that uh, they, the people in the community identify white people with money. So every time there was somebody from New York going to, uh, to Camina, the person could not even walk in the streets without having a throng of people begging, because white is money. So the bishop said to the supporters, I cannot build enough businesses. I've set up a chicken farm. I've set up a sewing school. Can you please find a way to teach my people entrepreneurship? So the Methodist Church did a search. They discovered our work. They came to us. We first trained the white missionaries. Then they who kept going down there, they went down to say, we have come across this technology. They got the books. They read the books. They did public meetings. I refused to even consider establishing enterprise facilitation in Katanga until I received 80 letters in French and Swahili by local people who had a meeting saying, yes, 30 of us want to start businesses just in this room. Can you please teach us? Then they sent people to us. We had a delegation coming. We picked the enterprise facilitator. We trained it. And the first enterprise facilitator then trained two more Congolese facilitators. And we have achieved what we have achieved without ever going there. I think that we should stop. We have to stop going there. Stop it. You want to teach somebody, get this Aboriginal person to come, and you teach in a university, you teach them how to become doctors, and then they go back. You know, I really think that the way I, uh, culture, if the way you dress influence the culture of that village. We did things in the 70s where we brought into a village things that they had never seen before, and they wanted it. And we spoiled villages by having them to want in sunglasses and, and transistor radios and watches simply because we had it. So you have to be very, very careful what you do.